Good evening everyone. So this is Habib from Hassel Free Education and today I'd like to share with you what my nurse told me. And this is um, very personal. This is the story um, I haven't shared with uh, any audience. So today, um, you know, I realized that I need to share with this uh, personal stuff with you so that you can understand and you can resonate with you probably that's going to help someone else um, either way. I mean, um, in um, probably that's going to help them to be uh, strong mentally. That's going to help them to uh, fit physically and that's going to help them to uh, sharpen their X, I mean, to reach their financial goal. So, uh, however, um, I'd like to share this story with you. And I do believe that you're going to, uh, I mean, stay tuned till the end so that you can understand uh, why did my nurse told so and what did I do? And after that, how did I get the result? So, um, I think it's been um, almost six years. Uh, I have, I was diagnosed with the diabetics and, you know, such a young age, um, um, to be diagnosed by diabetic um, is not a good news anyway. Um, anyway, so I think it, it was uh, 2000, I think, I think maybe 15, it's been, I think, more than five years. So I started uh, feeling some sort of backache. Um, and that time I was working uh, full time um, in a food shop and that was physical work. And I used to work, I think uh, one, and, I mean one full time job, the other one is um, a part time job as well. So uh, all together I had, let's say eight or nine ships, the whole together. And that was, you know, uh, I would say, a terrific life but now I would appreciate that you know um, whatever I mean you know everybody has got some sort of um, ups and downs in their life so probably I have and I had and I will have as well um so we need to appreciate that so um, when I have got a lot of backache and I went to hospital and uh, you know so the doctor um, she was asking a lot of questions a uh, bunch of questions so and I um, answered them properly. And after that, uh, they gave me some sort of blood test. And <clears throat> after uh, having the blood test, uh, they said, you know, um, we are not sure. Um, I mean, if you have got some sort of, um, uh, I mean, um, disease like diabetics, but uh, we are gazing that you might have some of them. Um, but to finalize, we need to have some sort of test as well. So they have taken um, the urine test and all that stuff. And after, um, I think, uh, two or three weeks, I started getting the calls on my phone with the no color ID. And you know what happened is when you get the calls from no color ID and you can't call them back. And that's, I mean, out of curiosity, I was so shocked. And, you know, I mean, if you work full time somewhere else and especially the food shop, you can't answer the phone your phone has, phone has to be in the locker. So at eight o'clock, I saw probably three, four phone calls um, from a no color ID and um, I was shocked. So I couldn't call them back. I came home and I was sharing this stuff with my wife as well. And uh, she said, uh, it's better. I mean, if you, um, I mean, talk with the manager and take your phone with you and probably it might be so important someone is trying to reach you. But that time I didn't um, understand, but the no color ID, uh, it sh might be uh, from the you know, NHS. So however, um, so uh, next day, um, my shift was supposed to start at 11 o'clock. So I got a call in the morning, um, I think 10 past o'clock, at, at, I think 10 or 15 past 10 o'clock. And I received the phone and say, uh, hey, um, I'm a doctor from uh, GP. My name is this and you know, um, is very urgent. That's why we called you time and again yesterday. You haven't picked up the phone. However, uh, you need to come to the GP as soon as possible. When is the latest time? I mean, um, early, I mean, the as soon as possible. So when is the earliest time to see you again? And I said, you know, I work full time and I'm not sure I need to talk with the manager. He said, um, but it's very urgent and I'm your GP doctor. I'm asking you 
so probably you should talk with the doctor and uh, is it possible i mean can you please come tomorrow like 10 o'clock i said yeah that should be okay um i'll you know tell my manager to um um i mean i'll be late at work so next day i went to see my doctor and uh, she said um yeah that's true i mean you are diagnosed by diabetic so tell us the history um and uh, you know my mom she was diagnosed by the um, diabetics as well and she said well it might be some sort of genetic thing and after that um so i have to do the medi um you know what is called medicine and all that stuff so um you know when i was um shocked i mean getting the news i was uh, diagnosed by diabetics um that was that was terrible and um i was down mentally and I was thinking, um, well, from now on, I can't eat sugar. I can't eat, I mean, coffee with sugar and this sort of stuff. I can't eat, uh, I mean, uh, plenty of rice because I am fond of ri having rice. Um, and I used to take rice three times in a day. So that was a shocking news for uh, for me. Then, well, you know, you have to um, acknowledge fast and you have to accept that uh, because this is the health issue as well. So, however... I have started, um, you know, uh, excusing myself and challenging myself um, in a healthy way so that I can um, uh, understand the disease I mean, how to maintain my life. So what I understood by um, diagnosed by diabetes is not a disease, but is the mainstream to diagnose, uh, to be diagnosed a lot of disease. That means um, that's the source of all the disease. I mean, you might have, for example, it might be um, a problem with your eyesight it might be problem with kidney it might be problem with the blood sugar and all the um, um, diseases so when the doctor explained to me um, and they have put me in some sort of um, what is called workshop as well I mean how to be healthy in diet and a lot of stuff uh, so I didn't have that much time to join that sort of program and all that stuff and anyway so I was trying um, my best to go through the you know dieting plan and all that stuff so uh, well um, long story short so it's been almost five uh, years or over five years so um, before the lockdown I uh, got a call from my nurse I mean NHS and she requested me to have um, to have an appointment with her and I went to see her and she said last time we had the blood blood test and um, I was not sure why there was your uh, blood level I mean uh, glucose and cholesterol was so high we are not sure why is that and you know what happened last time um, I was inspired by one of the doctors and he said I mean if you maintain some sort of um, keto diet and all that stuff then um, even you don't have to take the medicine of diabetic and I was so inspired by that because um, you know, I mean, if you are diagnosed with uh, some sort of disease and, you know, you have to take the medicine for a long time and um, probably when it is getting worse and worse, you have to take more medicine, probably you have to take some sort of uh, stuff. So um, that's why I was so inspired and I started doing that. But unfortunately, I couldn't stick to it. And that's why um, uh, probably the... Um, the I mean, diabetics was so high. And the second reason was I have been to Bangladesh and I have been to holiday in Glasgow as well. So, you know, when you go to the holiday, you can't control yourself. And when it comes with family um, and um, uh, friends, uh, families and stuff. So uh, that's the uh, another reason. So, uh, however, um, after a certain period of time, when I came to have the blood test with my nurse and she uh, showed me that that was, um, I think, 12. And that was alarming. She said, I mean, if you go a bit um, higher, then you have to, I mean, take admission in the hospital. And I was, you know, um, threatened as well that I can't do that anymore. So, however, um, I promised her that I'm going to, you know, um, be on diet again. And um, so she suggested me um, a few things I'd like to share with you. And before that, she explained that. I mean, you know, due to the corona, um, if you have got some sort of disease like diabetics or um, some sort of disease, I mean, that uh, weaken your immune system, um, so it's a risky for them as well. So, uh, 
the first uh, restriction is you can't go outside and you are so vulnerable for this disease and when she started telling me you know i was getting nervous and i said okay so i mean this is the time to take care of my health myself so uh, she suggested a lot of foods and um and she gave me the chart as well. i mean every time i wanted to see her <clears throat> she gave us a lot of um, i mean some sort of healthy diet chart and i take it and i put it on the bin and or some keep somewhere else and you know the normal life it gets going again so however so when she um when i met her um the last time before the lockdown and she threatened me and she recommended some sort of force and that has to be you know green stuff so vegetable fruit vegetable fruits and you can't eat that much rice i mean carbohydrate you can't go that much and the second thing is um so for example rice pasta noodles bread this sort of things and especially the sugar and sugar related foods as well and um, she was asking me so um, what's your uh, i mean lifestyle right now i said well right now i take uh, twice rice i mean uh, let's say um for the lunch and for the dinner and the, in the morning sometimes i try to skip the breakfast and sometimes i don't and she said no no um so if you consider the uh, your whole plate is this and half of them would be the green and one fourth would be some sort of fish and meat and one fourth would be some sort of rice and whatever i mean and i mean the situation you are in um you should um i mean cut the um what is it called carb i mean rice bread butter these sort of things uh, you should cut i mean the more you can that should be okay and so i started doing that and so um it's been i think three weeks again and i got a call in the morning uh, well i got another call um yesterday as well from um from one of the receptionists uh, from my gp and she told me that in the morning you will have a call uh, from a nurse and you got a phone appointment and you have to answer that you have to respond that uh, so however still i can remember and she also told me uh, not to drink the um, what is called juice and all that stuff um she said it has to be you know fresh water number one number two is um i mean if you have some sort of coconut water that should be fine otherwise uh, no added sugar drink um a fizzy drink is again cross so these sort of things and i was thinking and she also told me to drink um i mean some sort of tea or coffee if it is coffee is of course black coffee and if it is tea there's um, um, lemon tea and all that stuff and you know uh, when you haven't got any choice so what do you need to do you need to you know listen to them so i started listening to her and the next thing she recommended that um, you have to be active physically i mean you have to pump your blood and that's going to help you to keep your immune system right so and she also want me not to go outside and do some sort of physical exercise at home um and she said what you can do you can um, play some sort of music and do the physical exercise until you start sweating and that's the thing but um, i try to avoid that because you know when you stay the 24 7 at home you um you know you can't take the breath uh, you need some sort of fresh air as well so that's why i ignored that rule uh, however uh, what i do i start running let's say uh, especially before lunch and i start i mean i run at least 40 to 60 minutes a day and that's the thing i was uh, trying to follow last three weeks so um, can you remember i shared with you so the you know sugar level that was um 12 and that was alarming for me and she said um you have to have the sugar level i mean the normal that has to be um between five and seven and if you get that that should be um you know curable things for you and um you are uh, still under risk due to the corona and all that stuff as your diabetic patient because um you know these sort of people they don't have the immune system so strong so you have to uh, keep that strong by doing this sort of things and last thing i'd like to share with you what she told me um not to do and that was surprising i don't know how she came up with this sort of things uh, as i shared it time and again so um the physical exercise um yeah 
So I did, um, I think I didn't stop it for today was 66 or seven days. I mean, I started running. I didn't stop every day. Um, I whatever I'm, I'm, I mean, I was supposed to do and I used to do um, my uh, on my daily routine or daily plan. Um, so 60 minutes was blocked for running the things and what happened is today in the morning i received a call from her again and she was asking me a lot of questions this and that and she was reviewing the whole thing um about my foods about my drinks about my physical exercises and all that stuff and you know she was asking me whether um it's gonna smoke or not these sort of things and i said honest that i quit um, however so from uh, start from the food to the physical exercise and she said um you know i'm not sure Pro probably uh we have to increase your you know medicine um and it's not a good sign as well probably you are going to from uh type 2 to type 1 and you have to start taking insulin and i hate insulin and you know when she asked me to do the blood test and you know you have, you have got a needle um i mean she's um I, I mean recommend us to take me with home because due to the corona and all that stuff because um it's a risk as well i mean if you go to that hospital and you have the blood test so that's why she gave me the equipment to do it at home so i took it and i hate it when you you know pins um your uh, what is called finger and you took the blood and you put it inside and it comes up like six seven eight nine eleven twelve whatever it is so uh, in the morning uh I had a, um, I mean, I mean, light breakfast. Probably it was some sort of fruits and um, you know tea and water as well. So um, as in the morning, she said um, the the alarming. I mean, why I was getting so nervous? So I think the call was uh, I think more than thirty minutes, and she gave me some sort of facts and figure, and she said, "Habib, don't take my words you know lightly." I had some, I, you know, as a nurse, um, I had um, a few diabetic patients because I'm a specialist in diabetics, and you know, um, uh, and a few of them they're already expired because of you know diabetics. So uh, uh, don't take my words uh, lightly. Take it seriously, and otherwise you have to go to the hospital to take admission. And when she said a few of diabetic patients they were expired already. And I said, well, you know, we have to leave this uh, lovely world on there. But should I ignore her and leave the uh, world? I mean, unfortunately. So anyway, so there was a lot of um, internal dialogue between um, among myself in my head. And finally, I was a bit nervous as well in the morning. So when I, um, I mean, uh, left the conversation, I, I promised her that, well, I'm going to do the diabetic test, um, I mean blood test, three times in a day. I mean after uh, having my breakfast, lunch and dinner. And um, after three days, um, we scheduled a call on Thursday and she's going to give us a call. Um, so, you know, in the morning, um, I was so fortunate that when I had the blood test in the morning after the breakfast. So, you know, when you um, take the blood from your finger and you put it in the machine and it comes like, then you need to figure out. So the code is 23. So if the machine shows 23, that means your machine is right. And after that, um, so when you put the blood inside the thingy, so it is started like four, three, two, one, then go. And when it started, you know, uh, countdown, uh, I was so nervous. I was like, is it going again? 10, 12. So what I saw is 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 sort of like four, three, two, one, go. And I saw 6.4. And I couldn't believe my eyes. I said, well, there might be something wrong. Um, I'm not sure. It should be something wrong because um, when I had an appointment with the doctor, it was, you know, um, 12. And then the last time, I mean, uh, four or five days ago, when I had the blood test, it was, um, I think it was eight. And now six point, um, what is it called? Uh, 6.4. And I was quite surprised. I couldn't understand how come this. So, you know, I couldn't believe that. And it's still, I didn't believe that. So I said, okay, that's fine. Probably it might be some sort of mistakes in the machine. So after having lunch, then I'll do the test again and let's see. 
and so that was 6.4 and I you know put the three days column like morning uh, breakfast lunch and dinner and after two hours having your uh, meal then you have to do the blood test and I mean during the lunch time uh, then the same thing and anyway you know uh, that was the our Bengali New Year and when you have some sort of foods at home um, you can resist yourself uh, so anyway I'm going to share with you some sort of things that's going to help you a lot to, I mean, how to um, resist yourself, control yourself, not to have so much, you know, the food, I mean, as an Asian, what we are used to have. Um, so anyway, so there was a um, chunk of, you know, rich food as well. So pulao, um, chicken, and hilsha, and this sort of stuff, and uh, some sort of murigonda as well. I mean, it's um, made of different types of dal. So... Anyway, so um, when you can't control yourself, then um, that is the good strategy to have this. So what I do, uh, first of all, I start with the you know, green stuff. It's just boiled. Uh, let's say some sort of uh, what is called broccoli or some sort of asparagus. So um, just you can do the boil um, into the pot. Then you can take it and you can put some salt and uh, black pepper or some sort of what is called uh, black seed. And you start eating, right? So half of the plate, you just, when you start um, eating, then, you, I mean, from the beginning, you are so hungry, then you started eating. So once you finish that, and after that, if you have some sort of water, and after that, if you go for the food, like what is not healthy for you, but is, you know, uh, always um, attractive. And so I used to do the same thing uh, for last, I think, four or five weeks. So basically, uh, for the lunch, um, it is a heavy meal. Uh, what I am... Um, trying to avoid but it's still so what we can do i mean it's still you stay hungry if you don't that much food so i start with the green vegetable half plate once i have that then i start go through the you know small portion of rice and other fish and meat and all that stuff so this is the very good technique you can apply uh, if you are trying to control your carbs and um, uh, i mean blood sugar levels so uh, that happened so uh, i would show my gratitude to the you know um, Lord that yell um, yes I was so happy that the uh, you know uh, healthy concern it is getting down and the blood sugar level is you know so good and um, that doesn't mean I mean I'm going back to the previous um, uh, habit and I can pick up the sugar level again um, so that's the thing I'd like to share with you and um, there are some people they commented uh, so um, Mr. Zilsham he said um, okay, um, got it. Yeah, that's the that's the truth. That's the uh, you know natural thing. We have to accept that. Salma Asghar said your health is your wealth. Exercise is also good for diabetic patients. Yes, that's right. And that's why uh, today was the 67th day of running. So I have got a challenge. I mean, if you search with um, what is called um, uh, on Facebook, Ahasanabi, you will get another page and you'll see. Um, I didn't miss even a single day on 67th day. Um, so that was my, you know, uh, main focus and that was my, on the top of the list that I have to run every day at least 40 to 60 minutes. Yeah. So the last thing um, I would like to share with you that my nurse told, and uh, you know, I was kept asking a few questions um, to her. So she said, you know, nowadays, you know, um, you shouldn't watch the, the TV news. You shouldn't watch it. And... You know, out of curiosity, um, I, I knew, I mean, what she meant. I said, um, well, anyway, you know, we haven't got any you know, uh, TV at home. We don't watch TV because what I believe is worst of our time, nothing else. And it's still, I mean, you don't need TV. You have got mobile phone, that is today's TV. Um, you have got com computer, you have got YouTube, that is today's TV, smart TV. So anyway, um, so I said, uh, why did you say that? I mean, can you please explain uh, why shouldn't I watch television? And she said, you know, um, anyway, it's not only the TV. I, I need to explain to you. She said, um, so there are a lot of things going on in the world. And if you watch TV time and again, and you see there are a lot of news about the death and all that stuff. And it's going to mentally is going to push you down. And once you are down mentally, then that affects your immune system as well. And that affects your um, other things, other area of your health as well. So that's why it's not only the TV, but also, I mean, some sort of social media you should avoid, especially 
uh, where is I mean people are spilling out a lot of negative messages each and every minute and that's why you should avoid them as well and you don't you shouldn't count I mean how many people are dying every day what's the benefit of counting that she was asking me and she was you know giving a lot of information and I was so happy I mean having the call with us um, I mean almost more than 30 minutes and she also told and suggested that I mean we have to do some sort of meditation and you know probably you know I mean we practice um, um, Islam and so as a Muslim we need to pray five times in a day sometimes you know we miss um, anyway so um, we have to pray five times a day and that's some sort of meditation and I would like to keep stick to it I'd like to keep it um, with that thing and once you meditate and then you know your focus uh, brings into you know, in a concentrated thing and if you focus on this those things um, um, step by step so the you know outer world a lot of junk news that doesn't affect your um, brain and that doesn't affect your mental health as well so that's so important as well and so that's the four things um, I wanted to share with you that's though it's so personal but I thought probably you know some sort of people they are struggling with this sort of situation as well but they don't have anyone to share and probably is gonna resonate with someone else and that might give some sort of direction or inspiration or motivation to start doing the right things in a right way and right time and that's why I wanted to share it with you so uh, anyway I'd like to thank you very much uh, for tuning in and um, so I wish you I mean uh, safe and best health in your life so before ending up I'd like to you know, summarize uh, what I shared with you today uh, in 26 minutes. So, so um, I have started sharing with you how, how and when I was diagnosed with diabetic. Um, second thing I have shared with you, what should a food should we have to increase our immune system to um, give some sort of power of our immune system especially the uh, green stuff a lot of green stuff and a lot of um, you know uh, uh, I mean drinking water then we have to uh, have some sort of a physical exercise that's um, gonna have some sort of sweating and so that you can pump your blood and that's gonna you know uh, push your immune system um, in it that's gonna make the difference and next thing um, I shared with you, I mean, not to watch uh, the TV news, especially, and also in the social media news. Uh, so, I mean, if you can't control yourself, then um, you can uh, play a technique that, well, you know, the whole day we are locked down, so we haven't got anything to do. And what do you do? We pick up the phone and we start scrolling and we, you know, consume a lot of negative news. And once you consume that and we deliver, it started. Uh, delivering the negative news as well because uh, what do you take input that's gonna be your output as well so if you consume a lot of negative stuff you're gonna deliver starting in I mean the negative stuff as well so that's why uh, we need to um, avoid that and instead of doing that I mean you have to what you can do you can feed your mind and the question is how you're gonna feed your mind if you look back so you see a lot of books there so if you don't have the books no problem at all just you can go to Amazon and you can start you know ordering some books and it's still Amazon provides the I mean delivers the book we are lucky enough that uh, we can still feed our mind and second thing is as I mean you are spending a lot of time on social media so um, you can go to YouTube or I mean some sort of motivational speaker or um, doctor uh, or um, what is called um, physical uh, fitness industry who are the leaders I mean you can watch some sort of videos get an inspiration get motivation then you can act on it um, that's the whole thing I think I have covered and the last thing I'd like to um, uh, share with you and then we're gonna conclude here so you know everybody has got uh, some sort of you know ups and down in their life probably you have and I have as well and you know we have to share that and once you have that one thing you need to remember that there is always a way to solve the problem so for example I have got some sort of health issues so I got a lot of threats from my doctor nurses um, so I started working on it and I um, you know improved it and 
you know, when I was um, running with one of my mates, um, I mean, keeping the social distance, and I told him that I feel, um, you know, he's, I think, 10 years, um, um, what is it called? Um, um, I mean, not earlier. I mean, she's 10 years junior to me, and she, we started running, and when we started running, and uh, he... I mean, he stopped. He kept, you know, break time and again. I said, you know, I am ten years old, uh, older than you, but he's still. I mean, I don't need that sort of break. And he said, what's the, you know, mystery of that? I said, this is my sixty-seven days. I am started. I have started running, and I couldn't stop. Um, every day I'm running forty to sixty minutes. So I think that's the result of I'm um, feeling I'm so young still. I'm so fit, uh, and I shared with him uh, the, you know, the history of the blood. Um, thing as well and he said yeah yeah um, and anyway he was athlete he used to play the cricket and all that stuff and he said um, I'm really surprised I mean you don't get tired I mean after running long time um, so this is the thing I mean you have to put your health first so uh, thanks for watching this video and the uh, last thing I'd like to I as I wanted to share with you so Everybody has got, you know, ups and downs. So what I can do, we can try to put the negative things into positive way. For example, um, you know, from the very beginning, I was shocked. I was, as I was diagnosed by diabetic. Now I feel it's a blessing for me because because of diabetics, I'm taking up care of my health. I um, take the healthy food. I run every day 40 to 60 minutes. And, you know, this is this turn into this challenge turn into an opportunity and that's why i'm healthy uh, and i keep fit myself and that's why i can do um, other things um, um completely so um, the same thing happen i mean you can apply to the business world or your working place as well you know right now due to covid 19 there are lots of ups and downs in the business as well so uh, what you can do is the same thing so uh, you can try to turn into your negative things into positive way. Uh, for example, now we can um, uh, figure it out. I mean, there are a lot of people out there in the business. They need some sort of help. So when someone is struggling and you see a lot of people are struggling, that means you have got the opportunity to create uh, um, the solution for them. And once you um, create the enough solution for them and they take it instead of um, and in exchange of you can uh, have the uh, byproduct of money. So this is how um, each and every successful people, entrepreneurs, they create the opportunity, um, uh, you know, uh, offering a lot of solution. And uh, so this is how uh, you can turn the negative things of the business environment into positive things. And as I told you, the diabetics um, now I'm considering is as my as a blessing. So you can consider, I mean, your work life or your business as a blessing because you can do so much things to create the solution for others. Uh, thanks for watching this video and talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.